Hello YouTube and welcome to a video that I haven't done in quite some time. I used to be all on top of updates and showcasing it to you guys over the Xbox One. Um, but ever since I got rid of the whole monthly update model, I kind of stopped doing it. But since I thought we were getting to some pretty cool stuff with xCloud and all that kind of stuff, I thought we would hop back into doing this just because there's some features that are already getting implemented to the Xbox regarding xCloud and streaming and all that kind of stuff. So I will start off with that and then I'll go over to what they just announced, which is the like text filtering that you can do, but we'll get into that later. So anyways, one of the newer things that have been implemented is the ability to test your console streaming ability. So I'll just kind of let this do its thing and we'll talk about that. Of course, this is what's going to be utilized if you want to stream to your phones or tablets uh, to play games no matter where you are around your house based off of just streaming it from the console directly. Basically, your own server, which is going to be pretty neat. And we should be getting pretty close to getting um, into this aspect of it where you'll be able to do that in beta. But anyways, we're good to go. There are some ways to improve your setup, but console streaming should work. I don't really care about the NAT type, just because whatever. But anyways, it'll go through if it's if you know the stream and the bandwidth is good enough. Of course, what kind of network type you want to have wired for it. Because um, wireless, you're not going to get a very good outcome with wireless from the Xbox and then wireless from your device. I just don't see that being very well, so probably recommended to use wired. And, of course, there will be an update for the controller because that'll do something with the Bluetooth, I'm assuming, and whatnot. So when I first did this, there was an update for it. So I'm sure once this rolls out to everybody, you're going to have an update for it as well. And, uh, yeah, so it'll just kind of go through everything. Make sure you're good to go for streaming once that does become available, which is pretty exciting that we're almost here. I'm looking forward to doing that. And if I'm able to record it, once we get to it, I'd be more than happy to do a video over that whole streaming service, both with the console streaming and through their service and all that good stuff. So thought I would show that. Nothing too crazy, just cool seeing this stuff already getting implemented onto the Xbox. That means we're just getting closer to that being a thing. And then the next thing I don't have just yet, I'm assuming it's going to be coming out to um, insiders here in the next little bit. But it's going to be a new thing under privacy and online safety. It'll be a thing that's called, I believe, messenger safety or mes message privacy or filters, whatnot. Um, so what it's basically doing is you can set it from unfiltered to mature to just completely filtered. So if people are saying what they say, like offensive things or just things that are, you know, bullying whatnot you can make it to where it automatically just blocks everything it hides offensive wording or whatnot of course you can just leave it all unfiltered and not deal with any of it but i'll just kind of go through a little thing and there'll be some pictures popping up on the screen for you and all that good stuff so <laughs> anyways communication is a core part of xbox and gaming in general whether it's telling someone gg i never say that or planning your next move with your squad. With such a large community of players with varying backgrounds from around the world, this diversity means that everyone has different levels of what language they are comfortable with while gaming. While the vast majority of communications are whatever, I don't know what that word is, some can make people uncomfortable. Not all people interpret things in the same way, and even the same person can have different thresholds for what content is acceptable in different scenarios. We want to give you, the gamer, the control over what messages you want to see when you are engaged in the Xbox community, so we're enabling new ways to filter content, specifically text. These new automated text filtration capabilities will start rolling out across the Xbox ecosystem soon, starting first with private messages and expanding over time to profiles, looking for games, clubs, and your activity feed. With this update, you will set your own specific levels for automation fil or automated filtration, so you can decide what's acceptable and what isn't in the text-based messages you receive across Xbox Live. Filter levels can be customized based on four tiers of filtration. Friendly, medium, mature, and unfiltered. And as always, if you receive a message that violates our community standards for Xbox, even with filters in place, you can still report this conduct to Xbox enforcement for follow-up. 
But anyways, that's kind of just a quick thing. But it's going to be in this menu once it is live. I'm not going to do a whole video over it just because that's that's basically the quick rundown over what this update will do. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Um, hopefully we'll be able to showcase some more of Project X Cloud and all that in the near future. But thought it would be nice to kind of just go through that a little bit. Showcase the, the new test console streaming. And uh, chat about the new feature they announced today with the text filtering stuff. So... With that, I will leave it there, and I'll talk to you guys next time. See ya.